right there, especially where we're at as a program and just everything that catch meant. But I'm going to tell you what, it was there was a lot of plays that led up to that catch to, to help that out. Justin Worley, man, unbelievable throw as he got hit. Um, you know, we got a piece of the, the defensive end with the back, the line held up. And we just did our small part of the outside by making a great catch. Like I'm, I'm sure that as the coach, you're still looking at the routes and, and everything the receivers are doing, and there's probably a million things that, that are still need to be you know, fine-tuned. Yeah. The fact that the guys are making plays, making more plays, is that how, how pleasing is that to, to at least see progression? Even if, even if it's not as much as you want, you're at least, I guess, tangibly seeing oh, it. It's great to see. It's great for their confidence, too. You know, um, It's great for their confidence. It's great for everybody around them to, to feel like they're, they can be confident in them. They can trust them a little more. We got a lot of work to do, but it's it's better to go make some mistakes, but yet come up with some big plays, and feel like we're getting better than make mistakes and not come up with those big plays. So they're coming along. I'm pleased with them. Um, we got a long way to go, but it was really nice to see them go up and and, and take the game a little bit, which is we hadn't done that yet. What Where from the leader has come the farthest since he got here? Just attacking the ball, attacking the ball in the air, and going and getting it. Um, he wasn't doing that early on in camp and early on in the season. He had a couple that he could have done that early in the season. He didn't. So we've really focused on that. Really, really focused on that. And he came up big and, and, and used uh, all the things that we did and worked on and came down with a couple. In terms of, of the, the leadership aspect, I know that was such a big story going into the season with so many you know, inexperienced guys there. Have you seen something resembling leadership starting to emerge from that group? Yeah, they're getting tighter as a group. You know. Uh, Pig is being a good leader for us, really trying to keep the group together. Um, and he's done a heck of a job. So, you know, relationships are built through good and bad. Good, good uh, teams, good positions are built through good and bad. Um, it's not always rosy, and we've fought through the adversity and up and down, and, and that's what's making us tighter as a, as a unit. When you went back and watched the film, and you watched Marquez's catches, did you, even watching it back again, did you think, how the heck did that happen? <laughs> The, the last one I did. The first two I know how they happened. He he went and he did what we've been working on. That last one was that was just him being him, and he, he made a heck of a play. I mean, you don't teach that one, um, but he was confident because he made those first two, and you know uh, it was really neat for him to come down with that and, and uh, just to give him some confidence and give everyone confidence. So I'm really proud of him. He's worked hard. He's a kid that's a yes sir, no sir kid. So it was exciting. Has it changed at all his demeanor, his confidence heading him through this week? You know what? No, he's the same kid. He comes to work every day. He's pretty even keel. That's what I like about him. He's he's not like his coach up and down. He's pretty he's pretty simple and, and pretty even keel. And he comes to work, which is why he's improving because he's a pretty pretty even kid. Alex, like, what do you think you guys are express coverage? You, know, you said that you have to work hard. You guys were not very good at all. What kind of strides have you made against playing against physical type? That you made? So, yeah. How much will that be tested this week? Oh, it'll be tested. It's it, in this conference. It's tested every week. Everyone plays press coverage in this conference. It's gotten better. Is it where it needs to be? No, no, no. But it's gotten better. We work on it every day. Um, you know, Alabama will press us. Uh, we've been pressed every week. So, you know, it's really more for the young guys who's never been pressed ever. And so they, they've been getting better at it, better at it. So they're coming along. How is Josh for this week? Man? It's been, it looks like he's been running around a little more. How much? How's he doing? And um, it was a big loss, you know, he, he was the starter going in, um, but, you know, we picked up the rifle and moved out. Jason made some plays, Cody made some plays, Cody blocked really well in the perimeter, uh, did some nice things. So that's what's neat about playing so many guys. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, I have to throw someone who's never played before. They've all played. No, no one was rattled. No one really batted an eye. We just moved along and kept going. And, and, uh, but he's doing well this week, and, and I expect him to, to help us out of it. When you go watch Tape a step forward, has Pig Howard taken since that week of practice leading up to the Georgia game? And what was the catalyst for that? That's a great question. Um, he's taken a bunch of steps forward. Um, the catalyst? That's a great question. I don't know. I think, like I've always said, I think the light goes on at different, different times. I think he probably finally started understanding there's a method to our madness here. Um, you know, and Coach Z may, maybe doesn't have horns coming out of his head. Maybe he understands what he's doing. And uh, I think he's starting to buy in. And you can see it. He's starting to do the things that I coach, that Coach Jones coaches. And it's working. And then he pops up and goes, wow, that really works. And, and being a, a great student of the game and coming in and meeting and sitting up and taking notes and just being a big time player. And that's what he's starting to do. And it's working for him. So like anything, if it's working, he wants more. And it's 
it's starting to starting to climb on itself. When what? you start looking at Alabama on tape and you start trying to develop a game plan and find weaknesses, are there any? And if so, hmm. A, do you want to pound your head against the wall trying to find them? <laughs> I mean, how hard is it to find, you know, something to exploit? It's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. They've been coaching and recruiting to their system for whatever, eight, nine years now, whatever it is, I'm not even sure. It's a long time, a lot longer than the eight months we have. Um, so it's very hard. They're very well coached. You know, it's, 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 you can tell they're very well coached in a system when one guy comes out and the next guy goes in and there's no drop off. They know exactly what they're doing, they know how they're doing it. So it's hard, you know, and that's why I said we can't worry as much about what they do. You know, being so young and inexperienced, we got to really come out and just have blinder focus and focus on what we're doing. Um, I think a lot of times people people see the A there and, and all of a sudden they're, oh my God, we, we just got to go play football and line up and relax and, and uh, we're improving every week and hopefully we can keep that up. Most of these offensive coaches here have